Okay, one thing to draw that's really fun is a Christmas scene. You can draw a house and then add your own Christmas decorations. Start by drawing the foundation of the house. It's very simple. One long straight line. And we'll make this into a thin rectangle. You can also use a straight edge ruler or even just a piece of cardboard that you fold if you want your lines to be perfect. But I like to do it by freehand. The next part of the house, you can draw a front porch. Very similar to the foundation, but this time you'll stop in the middle to leave an opening. And close that off. And then we'll draw the roof over top of the first layer of the house. Bring the lines down. Not quite perfect. That's okay. You do want it to connect. There we go. And then we're going to draw some poles come down on the front porch. Once we're done drawing the basic house, we'll go back and decorate it with Christmas decorations. That's the really fun part. Draw some different lines here. And these will be the poles holding up the roof. Next, we can draw the roof. Just a slanted line on either side. And then you'll connect them. And then next will be the top layer of the house. It's almost like a cake, all different layers. And it's all basic shapes, just long lines and short lines connecting them. And then we can draw the top of the house and a roof on top. Just like that. And the next thing we'll do we can add the windows on the top layer of the house. Windows are pretty easy. It's just basically a square with some rectangles on the side for shutters. So we want three windows on the top layer. So we'll start by doing one in the middle. A nice square. Another one over here. And the last one right over here. And then what we'll do is we'll add shutters. And shutters are just rectangles attached to the side. You can make them fancy by having them point out a little bit. We'll keep them pretty straight and square. And then we'll have two windows on either side of what will be the front door here. So we'll do a larger rectangle with two rectangles along the side. And once you're done the windows, you can add some detail to the shutters by just doing some little lines. And they don't even have to connect or be perfect. Just add a little bit of dimension to the picture. You can get this as detailed as you like. You have five windows, one, two, three, four, and five. Next, we could do a front door right in the middle of the front porch. Nice big rectangle, almost taking up the entire space. And maybe there's a window on the front door another square right in this top part of the front door and a little circle for a door handle. This part of the foundation underneath the house, we can make steps. So you'll just draw some lines here floating, maybe just two, that's what I have room for. If yours is bigger, you might be able to do more. Then connect them going down, just like that. You could do a fun railing 
that comes down the steps so the people when they come out of the house will have something to hold on to. And you do that by doing little posts at the bottom. So it's just two little circles that are kind of flat with a post coming down and then you'll connect it. You could do it straight or curved. Let's see, I think I will do curved and we'll curve it like a backward C. And over here we'll do the same, but this time it will go the other way, so it's just like the letter C. And you can draw some lines coming up and down it. And next we'll draw the uh, bars on the front porch. And they're just little lines. If you're just doing a sketch, you want to do it very light, like this. And we can go back over with some color when we're done. This gives the uh, idea that there's a front porch here. When you're done that, you can put the frames inside the window. So the bigger windows will do two lines, and one line across. And the top windows will do one line and one line across. One line down and one across. One line down and one line across. That's our basic house. We can add some more detail. Draw a line here for that bottom step. And I don't know, maybe do we have a chimney on this side? I've never done one with a chimney. Let's see how that looks. So just a basic long rectangle that comes down the side of the house all the way to the ground. And maybe there's a small square on top. And then we can make the chimney look like it's made out of brick by doing something very simple. Just drawing some very light lines all the way across, close together, and try to keep them all the same width. All the way down. And then what you'll do is a few little lines here and there going down to separate them to make it look like there's brick up and down the chimney. The next thing we can do is maybe there are some trees and bushes around the house. On this side, we can do a very big pine tree, big Christmas tree next to the house. And that you just start with a basic triangle and bring the sides in, then another triangle. Maybe it goes behind the house a bit so you don't have to keep going with this line. Down and up. Just like a backwards L, a little more slanted. And then it comes down around the bottom. Maybe there's a the tree trunk is down here. You can even draw some grass at the bottom. Show where the ground is next to the house. Just little tiny lines, just like that. It will look a little more detailed when we come back with some color. Maybe it's nighttime. There's a full moon above the house. And over here, maybe we have some bushes. And bushes are pretty easy to do. They're almost like little clouds, just little puffs. They end up looking like landscaping along the house. Little puffs, puffy clouds for bushes. I'm doing them pretty quick, you can take your time. Now, if you want to get really detailed, your roof, you can make shingles. Shingles could be something as simple as just doing little, almost like a backwards L shape. It's very small movement. It's overlapping little squares. And if you keep going, 
You could fill in the whole top of the roof. You could also just leave it blank and color it in black or brown or gray or whatever color you would like your roof. Just adds a little more detail. And keep going and let you catch up if you need to. Just little L's curved sometimes, sometimes straight. I'm starting to spread them out a bit more. You can go back and fill them in. Little L's everywhere. And as they fill the roof, they're going to start to touch each other and connect. And it will give the appearance of shingles on the roof here. And again, if you don't like this look, you could leave the roof plain and just color it a color that you like. This just adds a little more detail. L's, L's, L's everywhere. And they start to touch and connect. Okay. And over here, maybe there's a nice tall tree. You'll start with the trunk. You'll go up into one long motion. Then you can bring that back down. And this tree is bare because it's Christmas time. So there are no leaves, it's just branches. Up and then back down, very thin and tall. And have some branch out. So off of this branch, I'll have some smaller ones. Same with this one, smaller ones and smaller. Branching out. And that's a trick to making a bare tree. You just keep branching off and going smaller with your branches. Maybe some will go over top of the moon here. And what I like to do to make a tree look real is draw long lines, very thin, and curl a little bit at the bottom. Almost like a long line with a hook at the end. And you can even do it the opposite way and hook up top and down. And it just gives the illusion of tree bark or wood on a tree. You have the, the root of the tree, the side coming down a little bit more. Trees don't come out of the ground and it's just a straight line. They have roots that kind of stick out of the grass. And now we can add some decoration. What I like to do is sketch it lightly first and then go over with the color. I'm going to use crowns today. We can also have a little bit of a sidewalk coming out of the house. So the first thing I would like to do is put a wreath on the front door for Christmas. And that's very simple. You just draw a circle, very light, because you'll go over with some crown. And you can leave the circle and then use the crown to make it thicker. Or you could do just little tiny bubbles, little C's, anything you like, little swirls. It will give the appearance of a wreath. You're just making your circle thicker and fuller and puffier. The next thing that I like to do on a house at Christmas time is to put garland along the front porch. And that you'll just start with your basic line and two swoops. And then we can come in with our crown and color that in a minute. Another thing, swirl the garland around the porch. And this is your house, however you like to decorate. Okay, and now we can start to color. So what I like to do is color the house and then go back and color in the decorations. So first, we will color, make this a tan house. Just very light. Not pressing too hard, it's just giving it a nice shade. And the bottom. And color around all of your detail. By going very light, it's okay if you make it a little bit, make a little mistake 
you won't notice it as much when you color light the crown. Go all the way down. I got everything on that. And for our shutters, maybe we'll do blue shutters. Color those in. Nice and soft. Nice color blue. And then, let's see what we could do next. We could color our wreath. So we have our outline, and we can go over it with different colors of green. So I just like to follow what I did, make it look a little bit prickly and puffy. There's our Christmas wreath. Maybe we'll take some red. And just kind of smush a little bow on there. There we go. And our front door, what color should we make it? Maybe we'll do it blue as well. A little bit darker. And just take your time. This is a darker blue than the shutters. Go across. I see a spot that I forgot to color for the wall of my house. Do that. And then our front porch. Maybe we'll make those a brown. The railing and the posts holding up the porch. Color each one in. Line for the railing. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then we'll go back and color in between the railings. Nice thing about this is you just have to color a little bit. You don't have to be perfect with it because it's such a nice picture. It all flows together. Okay, now maybe we will color the roof. We'll do this nice dark gray all the way down. And this will show you the difference between the roof with the shingles and the roof without. So you do two different looks. Then maybe our fireplace is a nice red brick. So what I like to do is color some of the bricks darker just to give it some dimension. Just a few. Maybe even going down here. And then we'll lightly shade over it. Nice brick fireplace. Maybe some of the windows are lit up. And maybe there's a Christmas tree in the front window. This is where we put ours. So you just go right over. Just a triangle shape coming down. All the way down. The look of a Christmas tree in the window and we'll color some yellow around it to give the look of the lights are on in that room. And maybe the light in the hallway is on. And one upstairs. The rest can be dark. Lights are off over here so we'll just do a nice soft gray. There we go. And now we can do our garland. We already have the lines there so we can follow along with a green to do some garland around the porch at Christmas time. It always makes the house look really pretty. Swirl it. It's almost like a little snake wrapping all the way around and down. And then we have our two swoops. And we can make them a little fuller by going back and just kind of shading them with little lines, giving the illusion of garland along the porch. And we can color the bushes below. Maybe we use a darker green. And 
Okay. Next, we can color this very large evergreen tree next to the house. And what I like to do is use different colors of green. So we'll come down with a nice bright green first. And again, when you draw it, you're just sketching it, so your lines don't have to be as dark as mine. And just some lines coming down. Show some dimension in the tree. It's almost like scribbling. Up and down, up and down, up and down. Sharp edges coming down. You can color in the shade in the edges here. And I like to go back over it with a few different colors of green. Just color here and there, however you like it. Gives it a more natural look. Maybe this green here. And I like to maybe shade in a little brown. And that's a beautiful evergreen next to your Christmas house. We can draw some grass down here. We already have the lines, so just shade that in. Maybe we do a stem of the tree, a trunk. And next we can color in the steps on the front porch, very soft. And the sidewalk as well. Shade in some grass. Now where we live, Christmas time, Christmas day, there's n usually not much snow. Sometimes there is. Usually the grass is green. On Christmas morning. Okay. And it's night time, so we have our full moon. You can color that. Pretty golden glow to it. And circle it around. And our tree. Different shades of brown. So nice dark brown at the root. Along the sides go up. And just Follow along your lines. Nice long lines. And then another brown to shade in. And then we can make our night sky. Just some gray and maybe leave it open around the moon a bit. We'll add some different color there. Shade that night sky all the way down. Over on this side as well. And down along the back of the house. You can add in some dark blue. Not too much. Just enough to get in between that dark gray. And all the way down. We'll add some yellow into the sky around the moon. Just give a little bit of brightness, like it's glowing in the sky. And you can have fun with this, going back and forth with the different colors, shading as long as you like. And then I think I'll make the roof here. A little bit of a darker line, give a little definition. Same with the sides. Now, I think I'd like to add some Christmas lights, maybe along the roof. So I'll start with some red. I'm just going to do little tiny dots, evenly spaced, going all the way down the line of the roof. Red, and then maybe next is some blue. And this is, whoop, top of my crown broke. We'll use a different blue. And then maybe some yellow. You're just gonna do the multicolor lights you see on houses. You drive by at night and you look out your window of your car. You see the homes all decorated for Christmas all the different lights and decorations. And 
And maybe this big Christmas tree even has some. So we'll start with some red. And just little dots or Christmas bulbs, you can even say, are on the tree. And one thing I forgot to do and I didn't draw in, but we can still add it, is a big star at the top of our Christmas tree. There are different ways you can draw a star. One way that I like is just almost like a star burst. And you don't even have to worry about keeping the lines even. You just start bursting out to the sides. And that's it. Pretty easy. It gives the illusion of a star burst at the top of the tree. And maybe we have some, some red lights along the front bushes. And on our Christmas tree inside the house. So pretty. And there's our Christmas house. You can get a cre as creative as you like and keep going. Maybe there are some candy canes along the front walk. You really have fun adding as many decorations as you like. Maybe the grass isn't green. Maybe you leave it white for snow and do a beautiful snowman next to the Christmas tree over here. It's really fun. Once you draw the house, you can add as many decorations and detail as you like.